Hello everyone, it's Benjamin Wara and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to implement background music into your games using Unity. Let's begin. A quick side note, when importing your audio files, make sure that they're in either the format of AIFF, WAV, MP3 or OGG, which are file formats that are compatible with Unity. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into Unity. So to start off, I have two scenes which have identical components with just a changed background color. I can switch between these two scenes in playtime using a key bind. To start off, go to your project window and go ahead and drag and drop your music file on the hierarchy. This will automatically create a game object with an audio source component on it. You can also do this manually by adding an empty game object and adding an audio source component to it, then linking the music file to the audio clip component inside the audio source. Next up, we need to make sure that play on awake is turned on because we don't want to call it using code. And because of my specific use of background music, I will also click on loop. Now, if we press play, we can see that background music will begin to play. However, if we try to switch the scene, this background music will stop. Depending on your usage case, this may be beneficial for you. However, if not, and you want the background music to continue playing on, then you need to follow these steps. The first thing that we need to do to achieve this is to go ahead and add a script to the game object that has the audio source component. And we're just gonna call this background music script. Opening it up in Visual Studios, we want to add a public static script variable that we'll call instance. Then we want to add an awake function, which is called when the script instance is being loaded. Inside, we will add an if statement that will check if our instance is equal to null. If it is, then we will call don't destroy on load, which will preserve an object during scene loading. So it won't destroy our game object with the audio source component with our background music. Then we want to set instance to be equal to this. And this whole if statement is going to be used so that if we return to the original scene after we transition to another scene, we won't have two overlapping game objects with audio source components that are running the same background music. So in the else, we just want to go ahead and destroy the game object so that we don't have this duplicate, which is what we're trying to avoid. Now that's all the code needed. If we return to Unity and hit play, we can see that our background music will transition seamlessly across all scenes. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll read them and I'll consider them. Anyways guys, goodbye.